Hello beautiful crafty people, Michelle here. Welcome to my makery. Um, I just wanted to share some projects with you that I've been working on. Um, now as you know, if you've watched my recent videos, I um, finally received my order from scrapbook.com and my first ever doodle bug stuff. So in honour of Halloween, I cracked out my um, doodle bug ghost town. And I've made this. This was um, a tutorial I followed. Um, it was a Stampin' Up! tutorial. And it was just for, a, this is supposed to be like a gift card holder. And so the gift card would go in. There is actually a pocket in behind this ephemera. So the gift card would go in there. And it's like a card. And it's pretty. And it can also be like a little, you could put some photos on there if you wanted and keep it in your purse or whatever. But... I just made this little folder because I wanted to play with these beautiful papers. They're so bright and so adorable. So that's my first project from my doodle bug that I made. I might send it out as Happy Mail and put some, some tags or something in there. So that was number one. And then I decided I was going to make some cards. Just some, some Halloween cards to send out to some friends. So this is my first one. I'm sorry about the light. Hang on, let's see. Bring it down a bit. Um, is that better or is that worse? I'm not sure. Um, so this is uh, Ghost Town again. It says Best Night Ever, 31st, with the little witch who's so cute. And I hate spiders, but that one's really gorgeous. And Hocus Pocus, and I put some candy there. This paper... No, that is ghost town paper. I did buy one loose sheet of paper from a different Halloween collection, but that's because it was just all tickets on one side, and I wanted all those tickets. They looked really cool. So, um, and then inside, I just I put that there. Um, I'm not sure why now. I was, think I was going to put something there and something there, but I've forgotten. So I don't know. And then I made one with a purple background with this gingham, which is so bright. And then the little tricks and treats, little candy shop there, a little ghost. This is a sticker. This is not one of the ephemera pieces. This is from the mini icons stickers for like planners and stuff. And then I put the little frog balloon sticker there as well and some stars. I didn't want to make them too dimensional because I want to send them and I've already got one two three four five layers of cardstock you know so and then I just put the little bat sticker inside which is cute isn't it cute so adorable so that was my second one crumbs from somewhere and then so this is my third one and this is one of the um, chit chat pieces and then this is another sticker it's a ghost with his little wagon full of treats and pumpkins and the little mouse. I like the little mouse features in quite a few of the little stickers. So there'll be a little mouse there. So I like that one. I just put some candy inside. I might have to put some stickles somewhere. But so far that's what they look like. And then this one has um, made my kids cringe because... May I be Frank and it's Frankenstein. They're like, oh, mum. Um, so, yeah, the little mouse again. There's candy. And there's candy paper. And, yeah. And more candy on the inside. And then I also made a couple of rosettes. These ones. This is a little witch. It's just a purple card rosette. A couple of little scallop circles of the paper in the background. An ephemera piece. Uh, a chit chat and some black sequins glued on this one is a vampire and I put some lime green fringing behind there just to go to a different pop of color there's some of the scallop circles of paper the ephemera piece and I put a little frog sticker on there as well so that's what I've done with my doodle bug stuff as you all may know um, I've signed up to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in New Zealand and um, got my starter kit 
um, I do have some Stampin' Up! products, not a lot. I have a fair bit of cardstock and some inks, a couple of stamp sets, that's about it. So, um, with my starter kit, I got a card kit that I ordered, and um, it came with a Stampin' Spot, if I can find the correct one, this is it. Grey Granite Stampin' Spot, which is actually a lovely colour, and um, this is the colour here. This is the um, the card kit. Made this it made three different types of cards, and it made three of each card. It came with a stampin' spot. Stop! Oh, my mouth won't work. It came with the stampin' spot. It came with these beautiful little enamel dots. It came with all your pieces of paper and your cards and envelopes, and these little um, die cut pieces. And it, and it came with the stamp set, which is this beautiful. I think it's a rose in full bloom and some leaves now what I really like about this stamp set I don't know if you can see it but this is just stamped once and it is given this beautiful depth to the stamp I I don't know how they do it but the beautiful darkness and the lightness and it's just amazing and the quality like when I stamped it I was amazed um, yeah, it's a beautiful stamp. I can't wait to stamp it in more colours and see how it looks. But so anyway, this is my first one from the stamp from the card kit. I don't believe I stuck to the rules of how the card kit was supposed to be used. Um, I kind of did some some different ones. So and this is another one. And you come with this piece of paper here. It came with the pink ones printed on it. And it came with this, but you had to stamp your own sentiments. In there you could choose which sentiments you wanted and it came with these pink jewels as well and the corrugated card came with everything and the twine all came in the kit so there's another one using the yellow combination and then there was also this green one was an option so I really really like how these turned out they're very very pretty It also came with an acetate box and the means to decorate the box so that you could put the cards in the box and give them as a gift. But I didn't do that. And then, of course, it came with the envelopes. And the envelopes all have coordinating, I don't know if you can see that, it's yellow on that one, coordinating pattern inside them. That's the yellow again. See, so it's the pink one. This must be, no, it's another pink one that we got here, and the green one, got some words in there. So that was really nice, and so I got that because I thought, well, that's going to give me some cards to send out to people. Um, it gives me a colour of ink that I didn't have, which is the grey granite. And it also gave me that beautiful stamp. And there was some twine left over. So for the price, I thought that was a real a real good starting point of building a collection of good quality, wonderful products. And then I also got... Um, let me show you. I think I have shown you. But um, I also got this, which is the um, Sweet Little Stockings. And it's a photopolymer stamp. And it also came with some dies which here they are, the stocking dies okay. and it's to cut out the stockings, the faces of the animals and then there's presents and tags and the decorations and things so I used, I made my first one with that with this set let me see if I can find it in my box of goodies here now I only have, as I said, um, one, one collection of their designer series paper at the moment. Um, so I used that and that was the Painted Christmas. Painted Christmas? Yes. So I used the Painted Christmas paper and I had some of this cardstock, which I believe is... 
what is that color mossy meadow yes it's mossy meadow and then this color was um, I can't remember um, yeah anyway and so I stamped two little kittens and I stamped the stockings and I stamped the little um, candy cane that came in the back there onto some white layered that on crumb cake put some of that on top of the painted Christmas paper and then put it on the mossy meadow cardstock and then I the um, Christmas greetings sentiment is there and I put that on there and the red which is um, no that's not right I think it's real red yeah it is real red that's what that is stamped with so I'm reasonably happy with how that came out I colored the kittens a little bit with some stamp and write markers I don't have any stamp and blends but they're on my list of things to get now this card was another tutorial I followed off a Stampin' Up! Um, demonstrator and it's supposed to be another card holder, um, gift card holder but I'm not happy with how this turned out so the gift card you know, is supposed to go into here and then it slips in there but um, yeah, just is sending lots of love so, so that was that one using the sweet little stockings and then on World Card Making Day, I think I showed you these that I made. And these are made using the Painted Christmas and just the real red cardstock and the white. And I just embossed the white with a Christmas themed embossing folder. And then I um, cut that. This is out of the um, labels, labels, labels. It's a labels die set. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, and this, so this was a one sheet wonder tutorial that I followed. And so this is just one sheet of six by six. Paper has been cut into pieces and then used to make four cards. So that's that's what that was. And then because I don't have a lot of stamping up paper. Um, designer series paper but I wanted to make some more cards to try out my stamping up stuff I stamped out some paper myself so what I did was I stamped this which is um, in Highland Heather and I don't know what colour that is purely pomegranate and which I don't think they have any more. It's quite an old colour. Um, and another colour. And then of course the Mossy Meadow again because I do have quite a bit of that cardstock. Um, and then I use the two shades of green. I think it's Pear Pizzazz maybe and Mossy Meadow. Um, and stamps them with... Um, and those were from the... birthday blooms stamp collection and just stamped those on some paper and then stamped out the bigger flower which is also from the birthday blooms and then I colored that with the ink and my water painters um, so yeah and then I stamped out the sentiment which I believe is also on from the birthday blooms collection and that's how I made that card and I'm very happy with how that turned out considering I didn't have any designer series paper to use and um, yeah and so because I was happy with that I decided to try and do a Halloween one I didn't buy any of the Halloween paper because I only just signed up to become a demonstrator and Halloween is in a couple of weeks so I didn't think that was going to be a brilliant idea but I did buy a stamp set which um ouch I just dropped my um trimmer on my foot 
I did buy the banner year stamp set, which I thought would come in really handy because it does cover lots of different sentiments. Um, happy Thanksgiving, Christmas wishes, happy fall, you're a treat so sweet, boo, Merry, uh, be merry, with a grateful heart, you're sweet, guess who loves you, happy haunting to, from and from all of us, which I thought was brilliant sentiments which could cover, you know, just about everything. And then it had some little decorations, so a little heart envelope, so it could be for Valentine's Day. There's a little squirrel and a nut, some greenery, a leaf, a little heart, a bird, a bat, some holly and berries, a um, cobweb, pumpkin, the um, thing of the pumpkin, the face for a jack-o'-lantern, and a Santa hat. So... I decided, right, I'm going to stamp my own paper again, since that worked so well for me the first time. And then, after stamping the paper with, um, I used grey granite onto some light grey cardstock, I can't remember the name of it. And, um, and then I did black bats on it. So that was my, my paper that I used for my background. And then I stamped out some pumpkins. And put the top on, gave him a little jack-o'-lantern face, and I cut some of those out. And then I had an I've got an old label punch, and I punched out some labels and stamped "Happy Haunting" on them. And so this is my little Halloween card that I made with my little paper that I made by stamping out the designs on the designers um, to make my own paper. So I thought that was quite great. I'm very happy with how that turned out. I need some sparkle. I'm going to have to put some stickles on there somewhere. But, um, yeah, or some Wink of Stella when I get it. So, I'm very happy with my purchases. And um, the fact that I can use them to make my own paper. Brilliant. So, thank you everybody for watching. Um, please come back and check out... Um, in the morning I'm going to have uh, my my next uh, Spooktober collab item will be coming out and I'm really really happy with how that turned out so I'd love it if you'd um, come and have a look uh, let me know what you think I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do a separate channel for Stamping Up or whether I'm just going to label them separately um, because this is just my first real video showing you what I've made and stuff, I didn't do it separate. But um, let me know if you think I need to. Um, or if you would like me to label them separately because you don't want to watch them. Or because you do want to watch them specifically or whatever. Anyway, if you're in New Zealand and you don't currently have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you work with, I would love to help you if you want to purchase some of these wonderful products. Um, you can contact me at my email address, which will be listed below, or you can use find me as a demonstrator on our website. My name is Michelle Franklin, so you can do that. And what else, what else, what else? I don't have my own Stampin' Up! site organised yet, but um, I'd be happy to send you a catalogue if you're in New Zealand and you would like one. Just send me an email and let me know. Um, take care everybody, stay safe, keep crafting, bye!